Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have a special guest with me. This is my cousin Melissa, but I, we all call her Molly. Molly. Um, and the reason she's um, doing a video with me today is uh, to talk about Santa Maria Nova Novella. Now, I'll, I'll let you explain how you came to know about Santa Maria Novella, yeah. but uh, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I've been to Florence and I did visit the actual Santa Maria Novella store. It was an amazing experience. I own a bottle. I have a couple of samples. Um, but what Molly's done is she's ordered a discovery set all the way from Florence. Um, and we're going to basically unbox it on camera and we're also going to smell what they've put in the discovery set because I'm pretty sure that there are several perfumes in there that I haven't smelled before so I'm pretty excited to smell them because I really love this this house um so tell me when like how did you come to know about Santa, Santa Maria, Maria Novella? Novella because I, I'll just sorry to, yeah to stop you I'll just say it's fair to say that you're not you're not as much into fragrance as I as I am. No, I mean, you like no. perfume, obviously, but of course. Um, but when you told me about this, you know, like I said, oh yeah, I, I know about Santa Maria. Yes. Novella, so, all right, tell me tell me the story. So, as you love perfumes mm -hmm. and have a passion for perfumes, I love history. Yeah. And I am <laughs> studying art history at the moment at university. Yeah. And I came about this because I was uh, doing an essay on Catherine de' Medici. Yeah. One of my favourites in history as well. And I also love the Medici dynasty and I've been studying them as well. And I came across a video that explains that there is a perfume that Catherine wore that they still make today. And then I came across the Santa Maria Novella perfumery in Florence. So I started researching that and I was like, this would be awesome to like test out and try and smell and see what she smelt like. And so then your understanding is that this per perfume is basically still made the same way. It still was. made the same way. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Cool. You well, with that. Catherine's one, um, I found out that this particular one, mm -hmm. so Aqua della Regina, yeah. um, which was hers is, was actually commissioned by her yeah uh, and it's one of their first perfumes that they created okay okay um and this was in it was in the 1500s i can't remember the exact year um but oh, we're was, talking renaissance we're talking Italy, renaissance yeah, okay. yeah uh french renaissance because she was the queen of france but she commissioned the monks to create this for her wedding day so this is her wedding perfume okay all right so yeah. shall we open this box yes i haven't smelled any of these so we're we're unboxing it together exactly here we so, go all right you've got a card Ooh, there we've got a card okay Tissue do we paper. read the card or just oh well i don't know it might be personal might be personal <laughs> um oh my gosh i can smell it already oh it does smell amazing all right so yeah. they've given you some uh, oh samples sample. <gasps> what's that like soap Sample. So we've got a rose gardenia sample. And there we go. I have to read that one as well. Oh, rose gardenia. Rose is gardenia. We'll smell that one too. This is a liquid soap. Uh, is it freesia? Yeah, freesia. Freesia. Yeah. And this one, I think, is another. Oh, aqua di rose. Ah. So rose, rose water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll just um, <gasps> get, this is your discovery kit. This is set. the discovery kit. Uh, I'll just put that so up. So excited. All right. to All so right. what we're going to do is basically um, each smell the perfumes that are in there. Yeah. And because I actually don't know anything about most of these perfumes, uh, I do know looking at the list on the website that... Yeah. Tobacco Toscano is there and Melograno is there, which I've also You've smelled, those, smelled, but yeah. I have not smelled any of the other ones. So let's let's start with the ones that we have that I haven't smelled anyway. All right, we'll do that. All right. All right, let's open it up. <laughs> You're good at unboxing. <laughs> I think actually... Ooh, so there's eight vials in here, okay. eight samples. Oh, wow, that's a nice presentation, actually. Yeah, I know. All right, let's just... <laughs> No, it's all right. There we go. We've got a bit of a yeah. story going on, on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Gorgeous packaging. All right. All right. What are we going to start with? They're Should pretty, we start from they're here? They're pretty good size. I think they're two mil each. Yeah, um, yeah. you pick, pick one. All right, we'll, we'll start smell. from Pot Puri. We'll right, start from here. Puri. And Aqua de Legina will be Yeah, we'll do, it. We'll do that last. The last one. Um, I All think right. Pot Puri is one that um, people like know about from this house. I, I don't remember what it smells like, um, but... You've got. The, have you got the notes written down? I do, for and, all but Popuri is the only one that doesn't have the top, middle, and and, oh, and base notes for a, some reason. Oh, okay, that's all right. But the other ones do. All yeah. right, let me just spray some on. I guess because it would just smell like Popuri. <laughs> yeah, although I seem to remember expecting them to smell like like a bunch of. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty strong. I know. Isn't I can it? smell I, it already. Wow. Very concentrated. Ah, oh, see. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm smelling yeah. first of all. It's very, um, I smell eucalyptus, like, or um, it's very menthol-y as well. Do you smell lemon, like citrus? Yeah, it's there's definitely citrus. citrus yes, there. I so, can smell eucalyptus. Yeah. So it's not what I expect yeah. from something called potpourri. Popuri, yeah. See, I, I have a mm. problem with like I have just a taste problem with you with that eucalyptus note because to me yeah. I, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world but like mm. here in Australia definitely when you smell things like eucalyptus or tea tree it's usually a medicinal yes thing like a like yeah. a, a balm that you would put on mm. but it that's like that's only right at the beginning oh, because now, it smell, it's now, it's, to now I can smell the lemon a heap heap more Mm, it's starting to sort of mm. settle now. That's really interesting. Yeah. So even within a few minutes, uh, and Molly's noticed it as well, yeah. like that initial blast of whatever that note is, I, it smells like eucalyptus to me. It sort of hits you and then it settles. Yeah. I mean, that right mm. now, if I was to pick this up now, it smells really nice, yeah. actually. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you, I actually couldn't tell you what else I'm smelling here? What are the what are the notes? Um, now I'm smelling floral, for some reason. I'm not getting it yet. <laughs> now I'm getting the floral hit, whereas at uh, first I was yeah. getting citrusy, eucalyptusy. If, well, it smells like it, to me. It smells like just mm. random rose, uh, like random flower petals. Flowers, yeah, florals. Oh, that's really. I'm amazed at how much this changes, like yeah. within minutes. All right, let's uh, give it another shake. Okay. Yeah, now it's sort of sitting on floral. All right, so that was potpourri. Yeah. Next one is Angeli di Firenze. Ah. Now, this scent um, is actually has quite a bit of meaning to it. Oh, okay. Um, so when in 1966, the um, floods happened in Ven uh, Florence. Oh, uh, yeah, Florence was pretty much almost underwater. It was pretty bad. Um, some people lost their lives. And uh, a lot of masterpieces and artworks and things were damaged or ruined. And um, Angela di Firenze is dedicated to, they called them mud angels. Um, so these were volunteers and researchers and people oh, that came to that came to Florence to help restore all the masterpieces and and ah. you know yeah help restore Florence. So this is a perfume so, dedicated so to them. This Ooh, is is creamy. actually cre creamy, <laughs> creamy, creamy, and it, like I think it's beautiful. Mm, and, that is beautiful. And I'm just wondering. Ooh. If it's gardenia that I'm smelling, but it smells like one of those creamy white flowers. Yes, yeah. I don't know if it's jasmine either, but to me, it rem like I started thinking of gardenia. Gardenia. And it's really pretty. Like, I mean, I probably... It's sweet, a little bit sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, not in a sugary kind no, of way. No, like I wouldn't call it floral and I wouldn't call it sugary. Mm. But it has a sweet smell to it. I mean, there like it does remind me of some like sort of luxe soaps that I've smelled yes. before. But they're probably using the same sort of. I'm curious to know what the notes are for this one. Yes, I have the notes. Let's see if you're right. 
about the notes. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> or let's see if you're, you know, there's definitely close. some type of white floral there. Um, whether it's gardenia, or not, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there I is. I wouldn't be surprised. There is gardenia in it. Not gardenia. Um, jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a very creamy jasmine. Um, oh, now it's starting to. Is there also a bit of orange blossom? Or Neroli. There is orange. Okay. There's actual orange, orange listed as yeah. that. Yep. Oh, it's really, really nice. And peach. Ah. Oh. Mm. Uh, that's not coming through that not, much for me. Not yet, maybe. I don't know. It still smells jasmine-y, gardenia mm. to me. Mm. All you need to know, really, is that it's a really pretty, creamy, yeah. white floral. It's really um, nice. And that, I think mm. the, whatever the orange is doing in here, it's stopping it from getting too, too sweet, I reckon. Do you want to know what all the notes yeah, yeah, are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got top notes are peach mm -hmm. and orange. And then the middle notes are, is it marin, marine notes? Marine notes, marine oh, okay. Notes. Jasmine and black currant. All right. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Yeah, so the you know like things like the musk and the vanilla and the sandalwood um, would be like contributing to that creaminess. Creaminess, as well. yeah. But I, I got to say, I don't smell anything that reminds me of any marine notes at all. Like, yeah, that's pretty as well. All right, so that's quite a, nice. Angele di Firenze. Angele di Firenze. Okay, Rosa nice. Novella. Okay, so. My guess is going to have rose. <laughs> well, I know what the notes are now for this one, so I'll let you guess. Ooh, this one's strong. Very nice, but strong. It hits And definitely, away. like I have to say, I was expecting a big rose, like to like smell lots of roses. <laughs> yeah. But that's not happening here It's a little at all. bit spicy. It is spicy. It is, yeah. I mean. Beautiful smell. It smells gorgeous. Yeah, this spicy. is actually this is actually really nice as well. All right, so the, to me, this rose is coming through a little bit, but it's not yeah. full on, full blown. It's just nice and delicate. This is, but this isn't to me not as as um, big as the Angela di Firenze. Like I don't know, off the paper, it smells softer, more delicate. It is more delicate smelling, yeah. Definitely a floral, spicy. Yeah, but I smell. but I can't pick out. I actually can't pick out any individual yeah, spices. It just has that. It's spicy really nicely smell. blend blended. I'd be curious to know what what. I wonder if they if there's some pink pepper in here. Or something like. <laughs> what's what are the nuts? Yeah, what are the nuts? Yeah, tell me the nuts. <laughs> so it is floral, spicy. Mm -hmm. I can smell that straight away. Uh, so top notes mm. is lemon and pet, petit grain. Petit grain, yeah. Petit grain. Middle, we got cabbage rose. Okay. Jasmine and gardenia. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and then the base. I is, would never have picked any of those things. Yeah, because you can't. It's like you can't pick them out yeah, when you smell yeah, them. Yeah, it's they really just well sort of blended. Smell, this one's really, really yeah, well blended. Yeah, blended together. And then the base is patchouli. Mm hmm sandalwood, mm -hmm. cedarwood, and musk. Okay. But, yeah, you're right. It's really nicely blended. Mm. I Ooh, can see that. Soapy. <laughs> I get, like, that soap smell. Yeah, because there are soaps that smell yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Uh, look, this is nice, okay, and I'm going to say it, but this, this, to me, being over 50... Mm. Smells like something I used to smell on your grandma. Women, <laughs> I don't want to say that women, adult women, when I was a kid. Yeah. Like. Yeah. This is something probably, but, it's but this is something our non now probably yeah, would have worn for sure. Yeah. That that scent, yeah. Yeah, this actually reminds me of <laughs> oh, her. <non> <laughs> It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful smell. It is. It's a very feminine, yeah, like mother, nonna. So this is a Rosa Gardenia. Rosa Gardenia, yeah. All right. So it's interesting because I'm assuming there there is rose in here, but I smell more the Gardenia side of it. Yeah. 
But I, also, yeah, I also, do it smell. doesn't smell totally like gardenia because I'm guessing the rose is blended in with that. Yeah. Uh, All right. It let's is, do like this. it is nice, but it's it, to me, it's like I could never wear it because it reminds me of my nonna, and like it, yeah, it reminds me of walking into her yeah, bedroom. Yeah. And she always had that smell. Yeah. You know that that perfume that that perfume scent. smell yeah. or that. I don't yeah. even remember what she used to wear, to be honest. Like, oh, she always had like little perfumes. She always yeah. had sample perfumes. I think she liked. I think she, she had had Red Door by Elizabeth yeah. Arden at one yeah. point. Yeah. So it is a floral, musky mm-hmm. scent. Yeah. Um, and the top notes are bergamot, mm-hmm. almond blossom, almond blossom, mm, and orange blossom. Yeah. That, see, and that's it. No, 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 that's the top. top. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Middle is gardenia, Uh cabbage rose, fig flower, and jasmine. This is the first time I'm hearing about cabbage rose. I've never Uh, heard about cabbage rose before. This was on the website. And fig (laughs) fig flower. Fig flower, did you say? Fig flower, yeah, and jasmine. Interesting. Yep. I mean, even as it dries down a little bit, it changes. Not much, though. Mm. Not like those ones. Yeah. This yeah. one's sort of staying the same. It's settling, but it's... Okay. And then the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. All right. Freesia. Freesia. All right. Now, have you ever smelled actual freesias? No. All right. Because, um, like, they're pretty common, and I've even grown them here, and they only kind of flower for a short time at the right. beginning of spring. Um, all right, before you smell this, so to me, they're like... Okay. They smell like delicate white flowers and they're a bit citrusy as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the best way I can describe them. And this is interesting because Ooh. this is actually quite powdery to me. Yes, that's what I was going to say. It's actually a little bit too powdery. It smells like Facciazzurro. <laughs> it smells like Facciazzurro, yeah. which is an Italian talcum powder. powder. Mm, I'm not sure I love this one. <laughs> It's me, it, like it smells like freesias to me, but it's missing that t- that tartness, that little tiny bit of citrus that the f- actual flowers yeah. have. This is too powdery. It is. It it's nice, um, but yeah, it smells like after you have a shower, you spray it on you, mm. like that. Mm. F- you when you just want to feel fresh. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, this what, scent what are the is ins- notes? well. It's, it's inspired by the freesia flower yeah. of, that's native to South Africa. Okay. Uh, so the top notes are uh, freesia accord. Yeah. 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 Middle notes violet. Mm-hmm. Um, centi- centifolia. Okay. So all right. So usually centifolia is a rose, like a rose centifolia. The violet. Yeah. And the violet accord could be what's making it a little bit powdery as well. Mm. Uh, rose, rose absolute, mm-hmm. um, and the base notes are iris and musk. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, see, so iris makes can make things powdery, powdery. Um, but it's interesting that I don't actually smell too much rose in this mm-hmm. either. I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't, it's coming through a little bit, but not. At the I don't beginning. really smell it. It yeah. smells powder to me. Yeah. yeah, powdery rose, powdery flowers. I can smell the muskiness to it. Yeah. As well. It is definitely musky. White, it's a like, fresh smell. Yeah, it's a clean musk. Mm. Very clean musk. All right. So this is Tobacco Toscano. Now, <clears throat> I've, I'm have i familiar with this one already. Um, I'm not. I'm very excited to smell so this So I'm very interested to hear what you think because okay. I'll, I'll listen to what you say first and then I'll tell you my experience. Oh, I can already it. smell it. Yes, there we are. Ooh. Masculine. Mm-hmm. Smells very masculine. This is, be- this is the most masculine of the ones we've smelled before. Ooh, in yeah. a traditional sense, obviously. I, I can picture non nor wearing this. Yeah. Just that, like, Italian masculine <laughs> smell. Mm, that's nice. Beautiful. Would you describe this in any particular way? Like, in It's terms not of- overpowering. Mm-hmm. It's very subtle mm-hmm. but it's there like yeah. it's not too subtle it's just enough uh, i i think there's 
a nice amount of sweetness to it. Yeah, I smell the sweetness. Yeah, but um, do you do you smell anything that reminds you of tobacco here? Because we we grew up <laughs> we grew up in a our, household. Of our smokers. grandfather <laughs> did smoke, but he also used to have um, use actual tobacco and roll yeah. his own cigarettes. And like this, it doesn't actually remind me of that tobacco smell. Not the cigarette. No, smell. But, yeah. I mean, this is nice. It's really nice. Um, it is really nice. I like this. I get like a, not creamy, but. Dusty, maybe. Dusty. Yeah, yeah I can't describe it. I can't use the, the right word. Mm. And it's definitely like it. not, it's definitely not powdery like that last nah, one was. Not powdery. It does, you know, it kind of feels more compact instead of blooming out. Yes. What do, what are the notes for this one? Okay, let's have a look. I mean, obviously there's going to be tobacco. Uh, in oh, here. yeah. Yes, that's right. Actually, this perfume was inspired by Tuscan tobacco leaves. That's oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so the top notes are bergamot, mm -hmm. uh, Tuscan tobacco leaves. And then the middle is leather, amber, and birchwood. Yeah. And the base is cedarwood, uh, sandalwood, musk, vanilla, and is that guay? Guay guayak, guayak wood, yeah. Guayak, yeah. Yeah. I mean, tobacco Toscano to me is really a really nice one. Melograno. Melograno. So Melograno is one that I have smelled before, and I actually <clears throat> quite like this one. All right, I'll let you smell. I'll let you smell it, um, and then I'll talk a little bit about what I know about it. Mmm. I feel like I'm smelling a bunch of flowers. Spicy flowers. Mm -hmm. Is mm. this? Um, would you say this is a fresh kind of smell at the beginning? Yes, but now it's it's going a lot more spicier now. Mm. I it, feel like I've smelt this before. Yeah, yeah. There, there are very famous perfumes that are kind of based around this ah. structure. They're not copies of each other, right? But but it's like the basis. Basically, of some of them. It, you know, it's generally it opens it opens up with um, fruity top notes. Um, so I think in here there might be a peach top note. Um, as, as well as citruses as well. Mm. Uh, then as it dries down, it, it, um, you start to get a few more florals that come through mm. and some resins. And then when it does dry down at the bottom, they generally shippers use this uh, material um, oak moss, which, is, which basically gives it like this kind of um, bitter green... Um, mossy uh, mossy obviously okay. feel in in the base um and it, it just gives this whole character to these type of perfumes see now it's settling yeah melograno is really I really, really like nice that. yeah <laughs> now it's going more powdery to for me mm. and floral I, yeah i'm getting Still spicy, i'm getting the but... florals as well yeah, that, that that's a thing. It's being subtly that, spicy still. That that spiciness stays all the way yeah. through it. I, I feel like I've smelt this in a perfume before. And to me, this this one here actually reminds me of um, spring and summer as yeah. well. Like, yeah, it's a very it's a very uplifting, cheerful kind yeah. of perfume. So melograno mm. also um, is the Italian word for pomegranate. Yes, um, which that's is what, which maybe is what the fruity part of it maybe. in here. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. What's yeah? In let's it. listen. So it's a floral, spicy mm -hmm. smell. Mm -hmm. uh, top notes: bergamot, bitter orange, yeah. and fresh spice. Mm -hmm. and does, it, does it just say fresh spices? It just says yeah. fresh spices. Yeah. Uh, middle is pomegranate, mm -hmm. pomegranate cord, yeah. rose, and lang lang. Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang. Yeah. <laughs> um, base is oak moss. Yeah. Um, patchouli and musk. Yeah. Oh, it's so it's so good. It's so good this one. Let's 
smell. Aqua de la Regina. Aqua de la Regina. The one we've been waiting for. Well, I've been Catherine waiting de for. Catherine de Medici's Catherine de Medici's perfume. perfume. I'm um, actually very keen to smell this. Me too. I'm so excited. <laughs> Like but do you know do you know anything about like what she asked for like for the perfume or did they just make her something that she might? Uh, uh, that I'm not sure. I'll have to do some okay. research on that. But another fa fun fact is she was the first one to, in those days, um, bringing the fashion of perfumed gloves. Oh, okay. So she started a trend to have perfumed gloves. So all the ladies in the court started wearing. Gloves that had perfume in them. Because who knows where their fingers were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's All right. do it. Oh, this is, oh, this is oh, so oh citrusy. Oh, my God. This is exactly what I would think she'd smell like. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Citrus, yeah. I'm definitely. smelling bergamot. I'm smelling lemon. Yeah. There's probably orange thrown in there 100%. as well. Like it's citrusy. like citrusy. Like this reminds me of like a the opening of a classic Ooh. citrusy eau de cologne kind of smell. Oh, this is not what I expected No, to smell. I thought she would have a lot of floral, mm. but yeah, def it, there's like lemon, citrusy. It's really nice. It's really it's nice. very lemony. Myrtle? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like it could be, but I, I couldn't tell you what Ooh, lemon myrtle actually smells this. like. I just keep smelling mm. lemon, lemon and citrus. Yeah. You know what's funny about this is that um, what I'm smelling here, like later on after Catherine de Medici's time, basically ended up being a, like a real um, masculine type of cologne type of smell. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like the, especially Actually, this citrus opening, like it's a very fresh. Mm, now that you say that. I feel like I've smelt masculine colognes that smell similar. Yeah, yeah. Or have that citrusy yeah, base. Yeah, so like um, stuff like like mm. Dior make Eau Sauvage, made Eau Sauvage in the 60s and then Chanel made Pomosure in the 50s. And the, the, the start of those perfumes has similar, like very big citruses in, yeah. in the start. This is getting a little bit more floral, though. Now it's it changing. Down. Yeah. Yeah, it is changing. Oh, it but still it's really has nice, the lemon, though. though. Yeah, I yeah. I can still smell the lemon. That's sticking around a lot. Let's let's see what the notes are, because I'm very curious mm. about this. All right, so the notes, uh, the top notes are Italian citruses, like yeah. lemons and oranges. Yeah. Smelt that straight away. Mm -hmm. Neroli. Yeah, okay. And... Pet, petit grain? Petit grain, yeah. Well, the middle notes are neroli again. Yeah. And rosemary. Okay. Cloves and lavender. So that's why there's there's that strong citrusy smell because it's in the top and the middle. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, like, they, they, it does stick around, but I can smell the, I can definitely now smell a little bit of the clove. Yeah. But it stay, it's pretty much just stayed citrusy. But citrusy with a touch of... Well, the base notes are patchouli and musk. Yeah. Well, you know, they're not coming through that much. But, like, yeah. overall, it's really pretty... Wow. It's a really pretty smell. So this is what she smelled like yeah. on her wedding day. Yeah, she smelled like a <laughs> traditional men's eau de cologne. <laughs> But I mean, I, so I, cool. I, I, this is a nice smell. Like I would it is love a nice to smell, smell it on anyone. I am definitely going to buy the bottle of this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. I well, love it. I, I have to say that of everything that we smelled today, um, I think my favorite out of all of them is still Melograno. And I would put this one second. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm just trying to remember what I might have liked third. Uh, I'm just going to pick those two, Melograno and yeah. and Aqua della de la Regina. What's your, what's your top three? Do you have a third? Mel top three? Um, you liked the Angeli di Firenze. Angeli di Firenze, yes. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. awesome. Um, and now it's made me very interested in getting that... Um, 
Yeah. Aqua, Aqua de la Regina too. I like that one. The Aqua de la Regina? Yeah. All yeah, right. I'm definitely going to get that. Let's put, let's put up this one last time. Santa Maria Novella, <laughs> Discovery set. Um, yeah, see if you can get it in whatever country you're in. But we obviously Molly was able to order it all the On, way from yeah, Florence online. to Australia. And it arrived with some extra goodies. Um, thanks for coming to no let worries, me try them with you. Fun. Yeah, all right. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye. See ya. See ya.